Hey there, golfers. I'm Drew Mahole, the Second Swing Golf, joined by Thomas Campbell, a Master Club figure at Second Swing. We're outside today on a beautiful fall day, and we've got a new club model to take a look at. It is the Callaway Utility X Forged, new for 2021. Uh, they've had previous X Forged models in the past. Uh, they're updating it now for 2021, incorporating some new stuff, including some of their uh, artificial intelligence that they've introduced the last couple of years. So. Thomas, uh, I know you've played clubs similar to this before. You've kind of played that utility iron in your bag. Uh, it's becoming very popular. Uh, what do you think we'll see out of this new utility iron for 2021? Yeah, I do really enjoy playing a utility iron. It's a little bit more kind of like a anti-left club for me, something that I'm going to get out in the fairway about 240, 250. Mm -hmm. um, say I'm trying to lay up short of a bunker or just trying to get the ball in the fairway on a short par four. It's a great option for me to hit. Maybe keep the ball flight down just a little bit on, on, on the lower side. I'm expecting this to be, uh, yeah, around about that 240 to 260 mark. Okay. Not sure exactly with regards to kind of distance, but this is the three iron version. So okay. this is the 21 degree. 21 degree. So okay. 21 degree. Uh, also, it's got the Project X U, so you kind of like utility golf shaft. So new golf shaft here, 6.0, 110 gram version. This is what we've been. Okay. sent here to trial originally and we'll definitely do some more testing here in the future yeah oh for sure you will absolutely yep. and uh, you know those utility irons becoming very popular and it looks like you know we've we've tested the uh x forged cb irons as well and that look is very similar it almost seems like it'd be a perfect blend if you were to go kind of you know from the callaway x forged cb irons up to this utility iron it seems like that's kind of that similar look and it really blended well but of course you know, utility irons can also be blended with really any iron set out there. Correct, yeah, so depending on the player, yeah, this would definitely blend very well with X-Forged or if the player wanted a hybrid, they could maybe go with a hybrid option. But yeah. this is a great option for a utility golf club for players that are looking for more of that iron look to look down at. Um, I'm excited to test it. Yeah, so we'll have you hit some few, a few shots here and we'll kind of give some comments um, and reactions as the shots are hit and uh, we'll see what we find out. All right, sounds good. Pretty good. It's definitely a fairway finder. Yeah, it's got a, that was a low penetrating flight there, which is easy to control for one. Yep. Um, you know, you, and that one chased out over 250. So it's pretty, like you said, you were in that, you wanted that something in that 240 to 260 range. It's a good start there. What does that look like at address compared to, well, first of all, just what does it look like? And then maybe if uh, I can compare it to, you know, some other utilities out there maybe. So comparing it to kind of like, I guess, the X-Forged line, it looks, you know, X-Forged with a little bit more kind of juice behind it. You can okay. definitely tell that it's got a little more forgiveness, a little bit more forgiveness and maybe energy presented behind the club to get the ball to go a little further, maybe keep that spin rate down okay. a little bit there as well. It looks like it's kind of in that category with regards to the Titleist U U500, P790 kind of UDI and yeah. like HMB Mizuno. Um, mm -hmm. This is a three iron, so it definitely looks like it's got a little, little bit more loft than like a absolute two iron would, would have, yeah. driving iron would have. Um, but it, yeah, it felt incredible. That first shot felt incredible. I don't know if I'm going to hit a better shot than that one because it's 149 <laughs> smash right off the bat. Um, it was pretty good. That's true. 149 is tough to beat, but that's, I, I, I think you can do it. All right, sounds good. <laughs> First one I got to turn over a little bit. That one looked like that it came off good. the face pretty hot. Yeah, that was hit really well. So this uh, X-Forged utility iron, you know, Callaway's had success with that artificial intelligence and their flash face technology. They brought that down to utility iron here. Um, so they've, it started with the driver and they kind of brought it down and they've incorporated some iron sets now in here and it's, and it's in the utility. And then the rest of it's a forged, you know, like a, it's basically built like a forged iron. It's a hollow body, but um, they got that flash face on there. So how does that feel? Because there's the body on the outside of it is, you know, kind of a soft carbon, you know, and then that flash face technology on the, on the actual club face, you know, presents more like a really distance enhancing technology. Yeah, it's uh, very solid off the face. It's not like it's like clicky or anything like that. It just yeah. feels like it's... The ball is kind of flying off, off, off yeah. the face, especially There's those a bit ones of a that pop hit solid. It. It's a bit of a pop to it, but it's not like it's a loud, right. 
um, I guess the more hollow body clubs that you've kind of sometimes yeah. get a little bit louder with as well. It's not quite as loud as that. Yeah, it's certainly not um, disturbing. Not disturbing there, there at all. Um, it, like I said, I've hit, I think I've hit two out of five swings there where I got the face to could be square at impact mm -hmm. or just slightly left. Um, but the other ones have left the face a little bit open. So it's definitely got some forgiveness to it as well. It's mm -hmm. still got it yeah. on average probably, I don't know what the distances were going, about 240, 250 yeah. on average. Yeah. So it feels good. It feels, it feels really good. Um, keep in mind, this is a three iron. So th normally I'd expect maybe a two iron to go just a little bit further yeah. than this. And then depending on what the player is trying to do with regards to gapping, it really just kind of depends on their gapping when they would go with the two or the three or the four iron yeah. utility club. Yep, that's how you identify the lofts is depending on what you have for fairway woods, would your, you know, when your iron set, if you got a four iron, you got a five iron, yep. you got a three iron with your actual complete iron set, you know, then you maybe go with two. So that all depends and those, there's various lots available as well. Yeah, I think for people it's going to be important for them to kind of work with their fitter and take a look at that, that ball speed off the club face with their, their longer irons and then making that transition to whether that be a hybrid or whether that be a yeah. driver iron and then talk about what they're trying to achieve out of the club. Yep, and then one thing we also talk about too there is height. You know, once you kind of like to say that transition from iron set to something that's a hybrid or a utility, whatever it is, you want that, you know, you see that. Um, with the height, when that height starts to drop, is when you maybe make that transition. Correct. Yeah. No, it, feel, it feels really good. I'm I'm excited to uh, see how this performs. You, you mentioned artificial intelligence. I think yeah. Callaway's done a great job with their the previous models that they've put all the work and energy into, into that. I, I have no doubt this is going to be a success yeah. in 2021. Yeah. All right. Why don't we hit a couple more shots here, and then we can uh, look at the data and see what else we find out. Sounds good. Those last two were really good. Mm -hmm. That one came off hot too. That thing is not moving uh, at all. Well, Thomas, I'm looking at this now, and I've, it seems pretty compact for utility iron. And that top line is not very thick compared to maybe others out there. So I, you know, if you're looking for something that's kind of sleek looking, this is a pretty solid option. But uh, you've got the numbers on your shots. Um, what are you finding from your? I think that was what six, seven shots maybe with uh, utility iron here. What do yeah. you see? That was seven shots. So first thing I can see here on the left side of the table is, well, left side of the screen is the dispersion. I mentioned that kind of anti-left club. Yeah. I didn't have a single ball that was left of center. So I had a harder time to get that thing to kind of turn over, which is a good thing. I'm just, with this club, I'm just trying to get it out there yeah. and trying to get that fairway so I can get myself a nice wedge shot in, into a green with, with this club there as well. Yeah. Um, well, so when I'm hitting the ball, on average 250 yards, I'm gonna have some miss hits. This is gonna kinda of happen. Yeah. My dispersion is gonna be a little bit wider. So you'll notice there's a two shots here that especially that I left the face a little bit open on. Um, they didn't maybe go quite as far there as well. But I wanna kinda of touch on those better ones that I hit. So if we look here at shot seven, for example, one that's highlighted here, 230 going 253. Shot one, 232 going 254. Shot five, 230 going 248. Um, shot two, 230 going 245. So uh, right around about a 230 carry is what yeah. I'm seeing with my, with my better shots here. Going right around about 250. So 230 going 250 off the tee. Three iron, keep in mind. Yeah. Um, very, very good numbers doing exactly what I want out, yeah. of, a, out of a yeah, and utility. And what you're gonna be using this club for most of the time is gonna be off the tee, just getting into the fairway. And so, you know, Pretty much all those shots it would indicate you know you're going to be in the fairway you're going to have a, an, a solid approach to look at the green which is the goal of a, something like this and then in the other scenario that you'd really use this club would be going after probably a par five in two um, which you're going to need you know that's 230 yards of carry so that gives you the opportunity to go after some longer holes so the you know x forge utility this is pretty solid performance i think right yeah very very good solid performances here and just kind of sneak and look at the height. So you got to be a little bit lower ball flight with, yeah. with, with, with this club here. On average, I was hitting about 80 feet in the air. On the ones that I struck a little bit more solid, they stayed a little bit lower. So we're looking at last shot was 70 feet in the air. First shot was 75 feet in the air. The ones that left the face open a little bit more were kind of 90, 93 feet in the air. Those are the shots that I'll be able to hit into a par five and two. Yeah. So if I wanted to, I had to try and feel like I hit a little fade in with this club get that thing to land a little, little faster on the green, you could definitely do it with this club as, as well. So you definitely have the ability to have some stop and power with the utility. Yeah. 
not only does it need to be used on a tee, but it could be used hitting into a par five as well. Yeah, yeah, and you mentioned kind of that height. It's not quite at that maybe 100 foot mark that uh, I know you like to have with your iron set, right? But that lower height on a windy day, for example, too, would be great to get this thing off the tee and it's going to be able to control it and keep it in the fairway or keep it in play. So uh, Callaway X Forge Utility, you have some artificial intelligence in there. They got still that uh, kind of soft carbon steel on the outside and then the flash face technology on the club face. Some really good stuff here from Callaway this year. Yeah, very, very good as a great option to put in your bag that's going to help if you're gapping between maybe your fairy wood and your longest iron in your bag. Yeah. Well, golf is out there. Once again, we'll give those dates for you. The pre-order date, Callaway X Forge Utility is October 22nd, and it'll be in store October 29th. So if you're interested in the Callaway X Forge Utility, uh, be sure to take note of those dates and talk to somebody at Second Swing, and we'll get you set up.